السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I have a product that I manufacture. And I have a factory that I don't own, but I'm part of the manufacturing plant. I need to convince people to buy this glass. So my job is to talk to them and keep reminding them about how good it is and how lovely it looks. I keep looking at it and finding different positive points and talking about it and saying how thick and lovely and strong if I drop it and so on. And each glass I sell, I make a profit. And we've asked you guys to help us sell these glasses. That's what's going on. Do you get the point? Allah Almighty has given us a product and told us to market it in the same or if not more enthusiasm that I would be if I had a factory that was making these glasses, should I be when I'm marketing the Akhirah to the people in the dunya. Today people prepare for so many things. You prepare for something, your business, your future, your children, your whatever else it may be. Not forgetting the most important preparation is for the Akhirah. I'm speaking to volunteers. I only have one message for you. And that is, this journey towards the preparation for the Akhirah, the main thing that motivates me is Allah Almighty says to us, if you manage to sell one glass, it's better for you than what the whole world has. I don't mean this glass. I'm talking of share in heaven. Yes. I'm talking of the guidance. If Allah uses you to convince someone to change or to leave their bad ways or to enter the fold of the deen, wallahi, you have better than what the whole dunya, the whole world has completely. And I tell you something, every single rep, you know, sales reps, you guys are sales reps because volunteers, what are they? They are sales reps, you will go and every, bear in mind that at every moment you are just a sales rep. You will earn the full reward of the whole deal as you are representing and trying and convincing, please come, please do. You are smiling at the people. And you know when a guy says your product is rubbish, what do you say? No, it's quite good. Did you try it? No, it's useless. I've seen it. You know, it's nothing. No, it's fine. Just try it. You have to keep going. You cannot get angry. You cannot. That's your product, you know. It's your product. And you are just hoping, let them buy one. Let them just check one. Just one. Try it. See. Take a sip. See. The water tastes differently here. Whatever you want to say. And so inshallah, that's the reason why it's important to have volunteers, to give importance to volunteers, to work according to your rules, to have people who, who instruct and to follow those instructions, to make sure that the whole project is a success. May Allah make it a success. Now, the topic of Jolof is one of the most sensitive topics in this part of the world. But I have a fatwa. <laughs> That will not be debated. Because I have traveled many countries. So, Malam Abu Bakr, I'm very sorry to say something different from what you said regarding Jolof. Because when I have stayed at Hajj Munka'ila's place several times, he's an elder brother to me. And I will tell you that the Ghanaian Jolof. What is Jolof in the first place? <laughs> Brother Wael is from Australia. He doesn't know what is jollof. Jollof is the rice dish. In India, they call it biryani. Okay. So this is African. In, in Saudi, they call it mandi. Okay. Here they call it jollof. Why don't you just call it rice? No, no, no. It's, it's special. I told you it's a very sensitive topic. <laughs> the jollof of Ghana is the best jollof. Guys, listen, the Jolof, it's a fact, it's a fact, listen, well, listen, listen, the Jolof of Ghana is the best Jolof for as long as it is eaten in Ghana. The minute you go to Nigeria, 
The minute you go to Nigeria, uh, guys, are you listening to me? The minute you go to Nigeria, Nigerian jollof is the best. So when you are eating it in Nigeria, the Ghanaian one doesn't taste that grand. And when you are eating the Nigerian one in Ghana, it doesn't taste nice. So it depends. My brother, today we are in Ghana, Ghanaian jollof. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.